Good morning. How are you doing today? Or maybe it's afternoon, maybe it's evening, or whenever you see this. I know I have some people that watch me from around the world, so whatever time that is and then you see this, I appreciate you guys coming by. This is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. Um, I am drinking coffee, or tea actually, today. Sometimes coffee is too strong in my stomach and then probably too much information that you need about that. Today, I'm doing this... Like I said, continue to do these quick reads, hopefully under 15 minutes in the mornings. That's my goal. And um, today I am going to, I, I was concerned about the Teamsters Union, which are I think over 300,000 union members, will not endorse either Harris or Trump. But in the last six election cycles, I think they've always endorsed the Democrat. Uh, the leader, Sean O'Brien, um, has said they want to remain neutral. And they did a polling of their union members, and it said, the article I read, 60% were pro-Trump and 34% were pro-Harris. I don't know where the other 6% went. Maybe they're not decided. So I wanted to look into that and pull some cards on that. I also wanted to look to see if Taylor Swift's endorsement of Kamala Harris and all of her Swifty friends and will they impact the election but also is she safe um you know people stick their neck out every time you say anything against one or the other i feel like you're gonna get in you know people are crazy out there and they're gonna maybe come after you i'm pretty sure she's got good security around her because she's got enough money to do that so i i'm gonna look into that hopefully she's fine and then there was the shutdown talk, and I think by the end of next week that bill, well, it got it didn't pass yesterday because they, Mike Johnson, the leader, House, uh, leader of the House, he brought it to the floor, but it was tied to a, uh, a bill or that would require federally people to show citizenship which you already have to do, but they wanted to make it, I think, even... It was just very popular amongst the right-wingers, so they wanted to attach that, and it didn't pass. Shocker. Uh, and just a side note, I don't want to get too far off a, a field, but Arizona has this new... They found out real, real recently that 97 people, 97,000 people, registered voters, had not proven citizenship because they'd been in the rolls for you know decades, and most of them were Republican and white. Well, I shouldn't know if they're white, but most of them were Republican. And so now the Republicans are saying, oh, that was set up and you guys, that's how you guys did it. And so I'm going to check into that too, to see if anything will change in that regard. I got the seven of swords and the four of pentacles. Okay. So taking away what you can after winning something and then holding on to it. So I'm just going to jump right into this. The Arizona, because in my mind is what this was coming up. The Arizona Election Commission, which is very on the up and up, all led by Republicans, is um, looking into this uh, registered voter list. But they need to get the ballots out. So they're really hustling to try to get it done. But there's some part of it that... Well, we know that the Republicans in the GOP is going to take that and say, C, C, C. Actually, some of those registered voters will not be on the, you know, they're going to remove them from the list and they'll have to reapply or resubmit their citizenship papers or whatever that is. Again, dragging things out, making them more confusing because we want to make sure, this is for Pentacles, making sure everything is secure, um, being very... Um, Cautious. This is the cautious card about money and security. And will the Republicans make a dent? Eight of Cups. Uh, that means leaving a place where you're not very happy. So I think it may be disappointing for them. They're going to lose. They're going to work on this and really build it into something. But eventually, I think they're not going to be happy with the outcome. It won't matter. That's the feeling I get. So that's Arizona real quick. Um, and then, oh yeah, I said the shutdown. <laughs> Sarah Huckabee Sanders and what she said when she had Trump, I don't know where they were, North Carolina or South Carolina, wherever. I think she's in Arkansas. 
person. But she said, implied that women who don't have children, kind of like J.D. Vance is implying, we really have no investment. We really have no say. So if you don't, Kamala Harris has only stepchildren. So she really has no emotional investment into the future of our country. I was like, so people that adopt that don't have their natural born children, are they have no interest in the future of their country? And I sat with it for a while and I thought, you know what? I'm when I was young, I wanted to stay home with my kids. And for the most part I did. I bought I got a part time job later in picture framing and did my artwork much later. Everybody was pretty well into their teen years, but I really it was important to me. But I know as a woman, there is a a, con a conflict within some women, not everybody. Some women find women who focus on their career only and, and do have children. There's almost, um, I think they, I don't know if they want to look down on them, but they feel like they can't be a good mom if they're doing that. And I know these career women or people that are, have a career struggle. It's hard. It's really hard to balance home life and work life. And, but I think that's where that, those comments were focused on those women who are at home, uh, taking care of their children, doing what they think is the right thing and going, yeah, see, they don't have kids or those career men don't, aren't doing the right thing with as a mother. And I think she was feeding into that whole dynamic. I'm not saying everybody took the bait, but I feel like maybe in the South, that's some of the I shouldn't say just the South, but it's a hard, it's so hard for women. I know some of you, and most of you are women that watch my channel. So I, I know it's really hard to make that choice to stay home and your energy, what you need for yourself and your kids. And, and there's all kinds of versions. There's no right or wrong. As long as you feel like you're doing the right thing and your kids are well and you're well, oh, no harm, no foul. But I'm going to check and see if that makes a difference. Um, In her small area, yes. In her tiny little corner of the world. I think women listen to that. But I think most of those women were generally on that page anyway. She may have swayed some people. And like J.D. Vance is also uh, encouraging that thought pattern that you know, because she doesn't have kids, Kamala. How could she have any interest in the future of this country? Yeah, temperance is balance. Balancing, and I'm looking at this as women trying to balance it all. And and it's hard. Um, it's really hard. Uh, but I do think those comments with J.D. Vance's with childless cat ladies, which is ridiculous, affects some older women. Not so much. I don't think the younger ones as much. Huckabee Sanders' comment may have felt affected some of the younger ones. I don't understand how that works, but that's what I'm saying. Um, okay, now um, the union, the Teamsters Union, Sean O'Brien, they decided they're not going to endorse any candidate out of the blue. They said that they don't feel, 60% of the union leaders don't feel, or union members don't feel that either candidate has their best interests at heart or they would protect them if they strike or protect their... Um, benefits as union workers and I know she's been all she's been talking about is mid middle class lifting up the middle class increasing the middle class uh, I, I really honestly feel like she has more work to do there um, to really give specifics she's still she's gotten a little closer and her energy is really positive and I'm not seeing that she's not going to win right now or anything but she really has to put some meat on those bones. I feel like they're, or get in there and really talk to those people. I know she is. They have a lot of money and they're doing a ground attack or whatever it is. Okay. So I'm going to look into, will that union neutrality, I guess it is, make any difference? Or, let's see, Harris. Five of Wands. I think there's infighting and there's fighting within her campaign. Because why didn't that happen? 
Queen of Swords, then this is sharp thinking, sharp um, pointed discussions, unemotional. I don't want to say blaming, but that's kind of like an executive, a woman executive who's very like no nonsense. I kind of, even though she's a, she's on the, she's a late Libra, which is an air sign, which technically, and she is kind of like this, even though she's emotional, but she's, this is, I'm going to say is Kamala's card is the queen of swords. And then we have the high priestess. Oh, and then a marriage. Then we have the marriage card. So I think they're going to change their strategy with the, with the uh, unions and somehow get out there and really connect with them. So that's really good. She is going to now Trump already has a lot of those non-educated white men on his, yeah, I got 10 of pentacles for that. Mm. Justice. Let me pull a couple more. I think they feel he's like them and we all know he's not. He was born a millionaire. His father was a millionaire and he grew up in the city uh, and got away with everything. You know, I had a person come and say how nice it was that I was, you know, sensitive to his growing up in the trauma experience, which I am. He still he was just a broke I because I, I had sons and I saw Donald Trump as a tiny boy. I can't imagine the abuse he took and his brothers and his sister. So it made him the way he is. I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying that's what happened. So, um, oh, here. This guy. Yeah. Uh, they're going to increase. Okay, so I see Harris really working to increase some of the endorsements, and I think she's going to go after the voters, not necessarily get the union overall endorsement because they've already decided. Harris, I mean, uh, Trump is got the same card, this marriage card. So he is already got that alignment with many of them who believe he's like them, but she's not. Of course, I just said that. But they somehow feel like he's a voice and he can do the dirty work and say those things that they don't feel like they're being heard still. And I don't know why they don't. They just look at him like a tough guy and he says stupid stuff, but they don't. They ignore a lot of it. They don't see the big picture down the road changing of democracy. They really don't. They're looking at their day-to-day -day, um, money in the bank, table topics you know kitchen table topics so anyway okay so i think she's going to increase voters but so i think it'll be end up being more like 50 50 of those members because they're just going to vote it's not so much the union just endorsement is they're going to vote so i think she's going to increase some of her voters and he's already got them locked in so um and taylor swift her endorsement <laughs> I'm inner energy man. Okay, I'm dancing. I feel very energetic um, as I'm in her energy. I feel like an intensity and a joyfulness, um, but almost like a rebellious and fighting. That's how I, when I'm in her energy, I feel like I'm taking on the world kind of thing. She expects her security to, and I also see two layers of security, her own and then others. And I don't think it's like anything like governmental, but it, there's two layers. Like she's paying for some and somebody's paying for some. And I don't know how that would work. Um, or maybe when she goes to different cities, maybe that's what it is. She has her own and then that particular city protects her still. Yeah, I feel like she's, like, I feel her energy is huge, like, like a big glowing light, like expansive and beautiful and pure, um, but also so strong and so confident. Um, I don't see any imminent danger with her. I do feel like everywhere she goes, she has layers. There are people considering doing something. I see them out there, way out there. They're thinking about it and talking about it. Make, you know, fantasizing maybe. No. But she's keeping herself pretty protected. And um, plus her powerful energy, when a person feels that powerful, there's this, 
it's not quite a theory, but victims of attacks or um, little children getting attacked, it's a weird thing. Predators sense somebody who can be victimized. It's that a little weaker in the victim area. And sometimes those people come from a family where they feel victimized. Not This is not a blanket statement. I'm just saying that's what happened. So, But because Taylor Swift is so big and so positive and so confident, it's like that energy just bounces off like predators or people that might want to hurt her. They they see that it's sort of futile. So they give up. Not saying everybody, but that's the energy I get is that she's putting out there to the world. Anyway, so that was good. Um, oh, I'm over 15. I'm 16 minutes. And then I already did Huckabee Sanders and real quick. Well, there'll be a shutdown. Maybe I'll try and keep it under 20. <laughs> well, there'll be a shutdown next week. Mike Johnson, who is the guy behind the curtain, pulling all the levers like the great and powerful Oz. Gosh, he's really... He doesn't know what he's doing. He's really like that guy who played that character, that he's just trying, but he doesn't know what he's doing. It's all like a facade. It's really on the outside. I feel inside. If I'm Mike Johnson, I feel confident I'm in his energy. I feel confident that I know what I'm doing. But people around him are not confident. They see that he is um, immature in a way about this particular job. And I know he's doing much better maybe than I could do. But I'm what they see, his perception isn't that he knows what he's doing. The perception that he doesn't know what he's doing. But he will continue to like throw everything at the wall and see what sticks he's deeply he's very strong-willed very strong-willed even though I think he's getting tired of all this stuff strong-willed in general not about this particular bill or uh, you know connecting those two things will they be connected the the citizenship no no they'll avert a shutdown i can totally see it it'll happen let end of next week they'll avert it but that citizenship addition amendment to our voting rights is not going to happen um it's just silly because it's already real it's politics all right ladies and gentlemen thank you for coming bye I love that you're here. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, please share and like and comment. It really helps my algorithm and it helps. It helps. And I try to, I'm going to keep doing this and try to make it quicker. So it's not, because I know everybody's time is valuable. Okay, you guys take care. Till next time. Yeah.